Hi, this is Mike Karen from the Paperless PTO. In this video segment, we are going to show you how to add the teachers and committees to your Paperless PTO website. These tasks are important because the teachers are necessary to build your student directory, and the committees are needed as well because every event that you create on your website needs to be linked to a committee. To add the teachers and committees, we go to your website and you click on the My Account link. Then enter your email address and password and log in to the secure side of the website. Once you log in, you come to a page where you may have already noticed you have the attention notice with the bouncing arrow telling you that you have teachers that need to be added. So go ahead and click on the link that says to manage your teachers. And that takes us to the Website Builder Teachers page where you can see that we already have one teacher named Smith who is in the Anytown Elementary School. This teacher was created during the setup of your paperless PTO program. What we'll do next is add a number of teachers to your paperless PTO website. Let's select five for this demonstration and then we simply click on the Go button. And what that does is open up a page where we can enter a few more teachers. It is simply a matter of entering the names of the teachers, first name, last name, selecting the school that they are a teacher in and that the grade that they teach. Here our last entry is Nancy Jones and she is from the Anytown Elementary School. And let's say that she teaches the third grade. What we can also do is inactivate Smith, who does not have a first name that came with the setup of the program. However, if you do have a teacher named Smith, go ahead and use that and fill in a first name for that teacher. Then we click the Save button, and our teachers are committed to the program. It is in several other video segments and tutorials where you will see how the teachers come into play within the program. Now let's move on to the committees. As we are already in the website builder, we simply scroll down the page and click on the link that says manage committees. And what that will do is take us to the website builder page where we manage the committees. Again, the setup of your paperless PTO website created a fundraising committee which we believe most parent teacher groups have so chances are you are going to keep this committee if you want to add another you simply click on the link to add a new committee and that will bring us to a page where we can add a new committee when you add a new committee this page will be empty I have just pre-filled all of the information to save us some time and some clicks so adding a new committee involves giving it a name. In this example, we're calling it the Hospitality Committee. We give a, descri a description where they would help support their PTO executive board by assisting with the setup at luncheons, teas, and meetings throughout the year. And we also designate a chairperson. In this case, we're giving it to a person named Kelly Taylor. You can also enable the selections of students, which is an e-commerce feature that we'll touch on in another segment. And the same for the dummy committee. For each committee, there are also committee roles. They are sort of subcommittees of the main committee. And in this example, for the hospitality committee, we have somebody who's going to be a meet and greet person and what they would do as you see here is play the part of hostess at the PTO board events and there's also a role or a subcommittee called coffee and cake where this person would assist in the setup of snacks and refreshments at these PTO boards and events once this is set up then it's a matter of simply scrolling to the bottom of the page clicking your save button and that committee has been added to the program. Then what we can do is go back on the link that says to manage committees and you can see where that committee now exists with the fundraising committee. 
Now in the event that you wanted to make a change to one of the committees, you simply click the icon under the edit heading and that will bring us to the page where we can make changes. Let's say we wanted to change the name of the committee to the Event Hospitality Committee. Let's make that a lowercase v. We change the title go down to the bottom of the page, hit the save button, and that will update the committee. We click on manage committees, and then we can see that it is now called the event hospitality committee. This concludes the video segment on adding your teachers and committees. And just to recap, these two features play an important role. The teachers are required in order to build your student directory as your families will have to add their students and select the teacher of their students. And the committees are important because every event that you add to the program must be linked to a committee. And the committees also play an important role in the financial recording if you are going to use the e-commerce features of the paperless PTO program. This is Mike Karen. I will see you in the next video segment.